What's up, you guys? Let's read some more energy. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Money, 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 money. What's the message? Spirit answers to the highest white light. Damn, with the Ace of Swords. Oh my gosh. And the Sun card. This is fantastic. Wow. Okay, I should have pulled that. Um, what was that? The Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck? I didn't even pull it, but okay. That's cool. Let's see what's going on. Answers to the highest light. What's the message? Okay, so I feel like whoever you are, you might be like focused on your home, um, like clearing your energy, getting grounded. Um, you may have had like a spiritual awakening of sorts. I do feel like whoever you are, you are, um, I'm hearing enthusiastic and just like, um, and maybe it's like that's how people see you, too. But you have this light inside of you. Is also what I'm hearing. Um, wow, it's interesting. It's like somebody doesn't really actually understand how bright they are. Okay. I'm going to take my hoodie off because that's getting a little hot in there. All right. Um, but there is an opportunity that's going to be coming in for you. Um, something that you've been wanting to happen, something that, or even if you didn't know that it was, that you wanted it, you, you will want it when it gets here, okay? Whoever you are, you have a lot of willpower, um, and you speak a lot of truths. Um, definitely a divine channel energy here that I'm catching. I feel like whoever you are, though, you may need to have more fun, um, it's like you've been through a lot of turmoil, tur tur turmoil, it's weird, I don't know why I said it like that, um, and it's like, or maybe you have been having a lot more fun, um, it's like, whoever you are, I feel like you used to just basically enjoy everything that you were doing, okay, until it's like, like as a child, like when you were younger, it was like everything that you did, you, you found joy in it, like it's just like you were just always happy to be here, so to speak, okay, um, like, think back to a time when you were like that. That's your authentic self. That's the inner light. It's like people get jealous of or have gotten jealous of this inner light. Now, um, let's see what else is going on here. Hmm. Okay, so I feel like when you look back on your past, there's a lot of conflict that has happened, okay? And it almost is like... It's almost like the way that you look back on your past, it's it's almost like there was so much, oh wow, there was so much conflict to like hide this bright light that you have. It's almost like somebody's been gaslighted their entire life. Okay, that's really sad. And that's a rabbit hole that I, really, I don't really want to go down. But I feel like right now you're healing. Or you have healed, but, or you are healing, you know, um, and with this healing is going to be coming, um, a lot of really great, great opportunities for you. Okay. But there's something about the hearth or the, your household or something like that. It's like, it's like, I feel like when you are home, it is your sanctuary and you receive, you know, your, your divine guidance from the outside world, or, or rather when you're not about the outside world from your ancestors. Okay. Um, I also got the lover's card here. So that could be somebody is, you know, uh, finding more balance within themselves, or this could also be a love relationship that you are either currently in or that you, um, that might be like getting off the ground very quickly. What else their answers to my like? You have a lot of courage, whoever you are. Um, spirit wants to wants you to know um, like how powerful you are. Even though people have made you feel, it's like I'm hearing, look at what you've done. Don't listen to the things that people have said. I don't know. It's like, but then also I'm hearing like listen to the things that people have said that who who said nice things about you. Those were angels coming in to counter 
as I'm hearing counterattack, the negative, the negative uh, interference from people. Okay, it's like that. Maybe that's what this is too. It's like it's like your entire life you've you've had like you've, it's almost like somebody's been gaslighted by a lot of people just because of this bright light that they have and so it's like the universe kept sending people into your life to kind of counter balance that right um and and i feel like maybe somebody's reflecting on this and they're finding more balance within themselves um there's something that you may have been working on that has been like put on pause let's clarify this a little bit further here you may have had to take a break from something. Um, maybe you just weren't feeling as inspired or you were doing some of this. Um, I'm actually hearing like internal work, so to speak, to, so that you would be prepared for this. It might be kind of like a time to, I'm actually hearing coming out of the closet. So uh, like I, there's a joke that I have with like my, my friends. It's like coming out of the broom closet, right? Um of your magic, right? You're coming out of, you know, the, the broom closet with your magic. Or somebody might even be coming out of the closet with their sexuality. I don't know. That's completely, you know, just take what resonates. All my readings are general readings. But that's something that, you know, um, uh, what I'm hearing. So, like, it's like somebody's getting ready to show their magic, so to speak, okay? Um, and the universe wants you to really believe in yourself. Um, and I have, wow, I have the lover's twice here with the five of pentacles so it's like somebody is i just heard moving in i don't know um maybe they're uh it's like wow maybe you and a divine counterpart are both mirroring each other and both of you have found balance okay and uh have found courage to love is actually what i'm hearing here um and okay what else spirit there may have been like a It's like, I'm hearing it's time to come out and play. Mm -hmm. if, uh, somebody, okay, this just turned into a love reading really quickly, but it's like somebody wants to give you the world, and or somebody will give you the world that you deserve. Okay? Hmm. Whoever you are, I feel like you're very in tune with the cycles of the moon and spirit may be, um, you know, asking you to pay more attention to that, you know, um, even like uh, the sun, like what uh, the sun signs, right? Um, what seasons we're in, you know, and how you respond to that and, and how you, um, how that energy affects you, right? Um, that's a really good way to also measure, you know, how certain people with a certain astrological sign may affect you as well if you're in a group of people. Like for me, like during, usually like during like water seasons and or with water signs, I am a lot more emotional, which sometimes is a good thing and sometimes it's not a good thing. So I act accordingly, right? Um, hmm. There, this is a very, very specific message for somebody. There may have been somebody in your past who um, was trying to give you advice, but it, w it was not coming from a place of judgment. Or maybe you were the person who tried to give advice. It was not coming from a place of judgment. It was actually coming from a place of uh, like loyalty and compassion. Um, hmm. Okay. Maybe this is just like in general. It's like um I think whoever you are, you're just like a non-judgmental person. And it's the judgment what I'm hearing is is it's the judgment of people towards themselves that that it's that it's their it's their inability to be able to have compassion for themselves that makes it so that they cannot see that you are that you are just loyal and you have compassion for them and that you are non-judgmental. Okay, so um, that we'll keep pulling cards. What else, spirit? Answers to the high sweet light. Anything else here? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Whoever you are, you have a lot of creative energy. You have a lot of uh, strength, and I don't know why I'm hearing fortitude. That's such a random word. I don't fucking know why I'm hearing that word. But you're very creative. Um, you have a lot of passion, too. You're highly empathic. the message please this is such a weird message um it's like somebody wants to come in and they don't they don't want to waste time like they're manifesting you or or maybe you're manifesting something if this is a singles reading, um, you're manifesting something and you don't want to waste time. And it's almost like the universe is saying that it's that you just need to trust yourself and trust your intuition and trust your because it's it's a journey. Um, it's oh, what I'm hearing is this is a journey that you can take. Whoa. You're a light worker, whoever you are. You're very protective of your energy. Mm hmm. I feel like whoever you are, you're, you've learned how to slow down a lot more, okay? To be able to observe and understand what it is that you need um, and understand, like, interpersonal dynamics and things like that as well. Um, it's something about how you can, you very, you're very good at intellectualizing things and that creates a sense of security, but it's also like somebody needs to also have passion in their life. You don't want to intellectualize everything, okay? You want to be present, I'm hearing. What is the message? Please answer to the high sweet light. What is it? It's like it creates a sort of mental burden when you are having to intellectualize everything, okay? So just be cautious of that. Not cautious, but be uh, cognizant of that. I'm hearing... You may be used to people, like, you're very attractive and you might be used to people, like, thinking of you as a conquest, I'm hearing, but, um, it, those days are over, I'm hearing the, what is that song by Adele, the dog days are over, I don't know how the fuck that song goes, but it's something about the dog days are over, okay, it's like, you're, you've bossed up, like, you're, you're a fucking boss, you're, you're a boss, you're out of your head, you understand, you get it, okay? You can identify when people are, like, trying to fuck with you, okay? So, like, have faith in that and enjoy this journey. This is a new journey for you. Like, you're so smart. This is this is what I'm hearing and understanding. It's like, you're so smart. Like, you don't even understand how smart you are. What else, Spirit? Anything else? I do feel like you need to have, yeah, you need to have more fun. Be more present. That makes sense. Okay? Somebody might be wanting to come back in and um, receive a cup, so to speak, right? With the four, We've got the four of cups here in the reverse position. The, the upright position, it's somebody who is, you know, it's just kind of like, eh, I'm not really sure if I want that seashell. I'm not really sure. But it's like, it's like in the reverse position, it's like somebody is like very sure that they want your seashell. Mm-hmm. Somebody might feel a little insecure because they're like not on the same level as somebody else, but that we're all learning together, right? And and uh, that that's all subjective, right? We can all learn from each other. Knowledge is all subjective. We all enhance other people's lives in different ways that we never know. You know, the star card here. I'm telling you, so you got this inner light, man. Um, You know, also uh, Aquarius energy, Leo energy here, um, Gemini energy here. Um, I don't know. I feel like we really got like most of the signs, all the signs. So, but, um, but anyways, I hope that this reading helps you guys. Like, you're the the universe just really wants you to know that like, like you can flow through life. Okay, you it's it's time. I'm hearing it's time. 
I don't know. Take what resonates. I hope that you guys are doing really, really amazing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, um, you know, if this, if this, if this relates, definitely let me know in the comments below. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Thank you for being here. Until next time.